Okay, in the last Dorset by Night tutorial, I showed you how to create these single exposure images from stacking a number of uh, exposures that you take of an evening. Um, just to recap, you need them on a tripod and you need them to be the same shutter, the shutter uh, time and same focus and all the rest of it. Um, but I'm sure you would have figured that out by now if you've been out shooting the stars. Um, I'm going to share with you a couple of tips on how to get the best image possible once you've done the Photoshop action. Um, two things that usually happen with this are, one, these little pixels, I'm not sure if you can see them, but if I zoom in, there you go, there's one of them, and another one, these, these pixels are created by the Photoshop action taking quite a light bit of grain, you'll always get grainy images because the, the ISO, the sensitivity of your sensor is quite high, um, but sometimes the Photoshop will pick up on these and it'll build them up and make them really bright. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of these to get a best possible image. Um, and using the same tool, we're going to get rid of these plane trails. These are lights that are stuck on the wings of jumbo jets. Um, unfortunately in Dorset, I mean, even we get jumbo jets flying above us. So we need to take these out because they are quite distracting to the rest of the image. As you can see, I've started to take out this one, this one here as well. But I've left some of them in so I can do this tutorial. So first of all, let's get rid of these... Um, Strangely coloured pixels. We've got uh, red and blue pixels. Don't ask me why they're red and blue. I always thought that they'd be uh, monochromatic. But um, So we want the clone stamp tool, which is the one here. Um, for those of you who are proficient in Photoshop and like whizzing around at the speed of light like I do, um, the shortcut is S. So you click S, press S. Um, and then you want to you want to paint over this area here. But first we want to select an area which we want to use to paint over it. We want to select a target area. So hold down the Alt button, or the Option button if you're on a Mac, click, let go of Alt, or Option, and then you can move over, and Photoshop starts to preview um, where you're about to paint. So click and hold, and as you can see that little plus is the target area from which you are now painting on top of the um, blue pixel. Again, you can do it here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And you can, once you get started, it's uh, very easy to carry on. Just make sure that you are selecting a target area which is similar to the area which you want to be painting on. It's no good, um, say if you've got a target area that's quite far off, say these, uh, the, this grass here, and you start painting over things which are black. Photoshop obviously is just taking where you selected a target area, so you, you've got to be quite careful sometimes. but. It's always good to just zoom out and check that it looks okay in the grand scheme of things. Um, if I use an example of, of doing the light trails here, um, if I select a target area up here and start painting over this light trail, I was having done a very straight line there, that was a bit stupid. But as you can see, it's you know, it just looks wrong. So let's get rid of that. And as you can see, there are still a few more pixels, so we just get rid of a few more of those. There we are. It all depends on how much time you have as well. You'll always you'll always see a little tiny bit of grain, but you can usually get away with it if you start zooming out. Um, at 100%, you can see very few of these little errors. It's just making sure you get the best possible uh, best possible image that you can. And secondly, um, are these plain trails? Now we want to get rid of them because they, like I can say, they are quite distracting in the image. Um, sometimes if you're lucky you get shooting stars um, or even satellites coming across your image which produce smooth lines um, you may or may not want to get rid of these but um, I'd suggest getting rid of these uh, plane trails because they, they do look they do look rather out of place in this, um, this image so what I usually do is again with the clone stamp tool I select an area that's on the star trail line so I click right in the middle of that and start hovering over where this um, where this aeroplane trail starts. And I want to create, um, paint over a perfect line on top and then start painting along. Now for a little while, um, this will start to create a bumpy image. So as you can see, if I paint over that bit, it's starting to go out of place here. 
it's starting to curve downwards, and that's because the um, the movement of these stars, um, as we're standing on Earth, they they swirl around. They swirl around around one star called Polaris. Um, I'm not sure the exact astronomical term for it, but um, the pole star. Every star in the night sky seems to spin round it. Now this is off picture. Um, one day I'll get a perfect picture where um, it's actually spinning around that and I get a landscape in the background as well. Um, but as you can see, these ones are almost completely straight along the left here. But as you get to the top right, they start to curve around very dramatically. If you did have a, a, um, a plane trail going across there, you have to be very careful. Um, you have to do a lot of work on the clone stamping. Luckily here, I mean, we can go along for a good few star trails and not get any distortion until we have to then reselect and resample from the next line. So that's it. You, know, you can get a really, really nice image, which looks like you've been standing with your camera for hours, um, but is really just a series of stacked exposures. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Dorset by Night YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be making lots more tutorials like this, um, some of which you may find more useful than others. Um, and there'll also be more news, some sample clips, and eventually the final Dorset by Night video um, made by photographers across the whole of Dorset. So, make sure you click subscribe.